Daniel writes in, hey guys, I need some help with my home theater PC. I'm on a budget right now and I'm slowly building up my system little by little. I have 428 DVDs and 128 Blu-ray titles in my home video library, give or take. God bless Hastings and Amazon deals. <laughs> How much hard disk drive space might I need to have to rip all of my content of my collection into my home theater PC? Daniel in Edinburgh, Tejas. Nice. Well, I'm up to about 80 some movies on my NAS at home. <laughs> And that's a combination of Blu-ray movies, HD DVDs, and DVDs. And I've already gone through over two terabytes of storage just for those 80 discs. Now, depending on the DVD, it can be up to eight gigabytes for each disc that you're gonna rip. Uh, depending on the Blu-ray title, expect 25 to 40 gigs per movie. So, let's see, Daniel, your worst case scenario would be about 3,400 gigabytes for the DVDs, about 5,100 <laughs> gigabytes. For the Blu-ray movies, that's about roughly, say, 8,500 gigabytes total, about nine terabytes. Well, you could get 12 terabytes of storage, say, six drives, two terabytes each, and a RAID array. That would get you roughly, with that 12 terabytes with the overhead, it would get you pretty darn close. You might have to sacrifice a disk or two. Add the software you're, you're going to need to rip those discs. That's like another that. 100 bucks. About another 100 bucks right there. And I personally would go with something, if you need a, just a standalone device, uh, pre-built, uh, ReadyNAS has a Pro Pioneer system that holds six drives, and I really like it. You can get it for about $1,000, which is pretty pricey, but it is a speedy NAS device with dual Ethernet connections along with some great software for managing your, your content and streaming that wherever you need it. Also, uh, it incorporates... What else was that thing? Oh, it's room for six drives, so you basically put the 12 right. terabytes into that. Or, to save a bunch of money, <laughs> you could go with something like a 400 disc Blu-ray disc changer from Sony, which you can get for about 600 bucks online. And uh, Sony's BDP CS960. It won't fit all of your discs, but it's significantly cheaper, at, at less than half the price. You figure two terabyte drives each mm -hmm. for about 120, 130 bucks. So times six yeah, plus in another thousand. Three months, that'll be down to a hundred. By the end of the year, it'll be probably. You're going to need bigger, bigger drives anyway soon with that collection. If you really do need to digitize every disc, I personally don't digitize every disc I own. So. Just yeah. the ones I want. And, well, you can also give up the extra features. You can compress some of the discs more than others, especially with DVDs where there's not that much detail to begin with. If you want to save cash, you can build yourself a free NAS or an Unraid box out of an old PC. Spend no money on the PC, all your money on hard drives. I'm a big fan of Drobo storage boxes because they make it really easy to upgrade. If you need to upgrade your NAS, you buy a second NAS, you copy everything from the first NAS off to the second NAS, and you sell the first NAS on eBay or wait to fill up the second NAS so you can use it to transfer it back to the first NAS. Pain in the ass. Um, Drobo's boxes, you basically yank out a drive, put another drive in, and you upgrade pretty easily as hard drives get cheaper. They're down to 399 bucks without drives. But I haven't streamed or ripped any Blu-ray discs off of one of those yet. I do have the new Drobo FS coming in. That's a new gigabit Ethernet NAS box from Drobo. Nice. Uh, we got that coming in for review. That was there's a be separate fun. slab for the regular Drobo devices if you That's want to connect gone. it to your network. Oh, really? Yeah, the, the, the Drobo share is gone. They basically Good. created a dedicated that. device. They're claiming four times better performance performance than the Drobo share from the with the Drobo FS. That's pretty it good. Um, it'll take five drives. It can recover up to two dead drives. 1700 bucks loaded with five two terabyte drives, about nine terabytes of storage there. Uh, the basic Drobo tops out at 7.3 terabytes with today's drives, and that's going to run you 399 plus the two drive terabyte failure? drives. For, with the five terabyte version. It can, it can recover from up to two dead drives. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's really good. I lost one of my drives in a four drive system, and I was really nervous. Well, I got the <laughs> other drive in, but I'm sitting there, please, please nothing, live. Please let live. all the other please drives live. be okay until it's done resyncing anyway. Yeah. Moving on. Oh, hey, I want to thank everyone that wrote in with the IR Blaster ideas to help hide your home theater gear behind a door or in another room. David wrote in with one of the better ideas, a $35, quote, next generation remote control extender on Amazon.com. <laughs> he adds, I've been using the product for three years now. I replaced the batteries once. My AV equipment is in the closet. I'm next to the TV room, and I'm controlling a DirecTV HR20, a Philips DVD player, Onkyo receiver, in focus projector, and a Mac mini. Everything works perfectly. Best regards, David. That sounds really good. Yeah. And I, I, for 40 bucks, that's definitely worth checking out. And I want to thank everyone again for sending in information and products related to that question because it's it's useful we'll use it for sure <laughs> Thank you.